Hey, what's up, YouTube? My name is Nene J, and today I will be doing my first video. Um, today I just wanted to do a get to know me tag at slash Target haul because I went to Target earlier today and I completely fell in love with the amount of products that the amount of products that they carry because I haven't been in such a while and I had never checked out the um the beauty section. So I just got a lot of skincare products because I felt like I need to be taking care of my face a little bit better than I already am. So I'm just going to show you a few things, a few things that I've got and hopefully, you know, you can comment below some things that I need to try because I have eczema. So first I got this exfoliating scrub from e.l.f. Oh, I'm not sure if you can see. I'm going to take it out of the package. And it has vitamin E and purified water. And it looks like this. Can you see it? Okay, and I don't know, I really, ha cause like I follow them on Snapchat and I really haven't heard them say too much about this. So I really wanna try it and see if it will work for me or not. And also, I also got this mask, this mask, <laughs> I can't talk today, this mask tool and it's for pore refining, it's a pore refining brush as well. And it looks like this. And also I picked up some, some cleansing wipes, like some makeup wipes as well. Can you see it? I also picked up. Okay, it's okay. It's a Target brand of Saint uh, Saint Ives Apricot Scrub, and is this one? It smells like straight soap. I like. I really love the smell of soap, <laughs> so that's just my thing. And also. Okay, and also I picked up some Pond's Dry Skin Cream. It's like that. My mom actually put me onto Pond's. And then also, I also got Biore's Deep Pore, <laughs> Deep Pore Charcoal Cleanser, which is this. First semester, they had did a welcome pack. And they had the bar soap in there, and I fell in love. And I didn't see the bar soap at Target, so hopefully that this can... This can do the same job as the bar soap, honestly. Cause I couldn't remember the name when I was there either. So yeah, and then also I got some cotton rounds. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody knows what cotton rounds look like, but yeah, I also got these. And I love cotton rounds because I wash my face a lot. So, and that's I mean that's kind of bad. But then again, I tend to wear a lot of makeup as well because I have a lot of dark spots. So I just cover them up. And also I got Garnier Fructis Merciler, Merciler water, but I had accidentally left it upstairs. So <laughs> yeah, but that's that. So now we're gonna get to, now we're gonna get to this get to know me tag. And for starters, okay, the first question is, am I named after anyone? No. I'm actually not named after anyone. Okay, so this is the whole story, but, but how I got my name. Okay, so my actual name is Ebony. And when and my mom, she actually didn't have a name for me because she wasn't expecting to get another child. I just came as a surprise. And, <laughs> and so the, it was the hospital day when I was being born. And my dad, he wanted to name me Kizzy. And if anybody knows where the name Kizzy came from, Kizzy was a character off the movie Roots. And my mom wasn't, she didn't like that at all. So my brother, he was looking over, like, they were, they must have been sitting in the, um, in the waiting area. And, and my brother, he came across a magazine, it's called Ebony Magazine. So that's pretty much how I got the name Ebony. Okay, the second question is, when was the last time I cried? The last time I cried... Um, I think yesterday morning, and there's a whole there's a whole long story about the reason why I was crying. So, and pretty much that's gonna be in another video that I'm gonna make later on. Okay, do I have any kids? No, I don't have any kids. Right, I really want a puppy. So hopefully I will get the dog that I want, and that's it. I really want a chow and a pomeranian. And I think that's it. 
Honestly, I really want a child and a Pomeranian. Okay, number four. If I was another person, would I be a friend of myself? I think I'm a very good person, so I would definitely befriend myself. Because... I don't know, I just, I really like myself. I find myself very interesting, and hopefully my viewers, my future subscribers would also find me interesting as well. Um, okay, what's the first thing I, oh, I'm sorry, I skipped the question. Number five is, do I use sarcasm a lot? Um, I'm not really a sarcastic person, but I tend to speak with my face a lot. So, things that I don't say, it definitely comes out through my face, so, I, <laughs> so, it's kind of a, I don't know. Um, number six is what's the first thing that I notice about people? The first thing that I notice about people, I would have to say, is the way they dress. Honestly, the way you carry yourself. The way you carry yourself can take you a long way. You know, and also, when I'm talking to you, I have a bad habit of staring in people's mouths. And I think, because I recently had an interview at DTRL, like, some, like a couple months back. And... I think that's probably why I didn't get the job because, like, I was constantly staring in her mouth. Like, I don't know. I just pay attention to lips and teeth and things like that. Um, my eye color. My eye color is dark brown. And do I like scary movies or happy endings? Personally, it just depends on the content of the movie. Um, I really, I really like horror movies, honestly. Like, I could really go for a good horror movie. But it has to be, like, a really, really good horror movie. Like, how Get Out was such a good horror movie. Like, everybody's been talking about it. But I have yet to see it. So, hopefully I get to see it sometime this week or next week or whatever. Because right now I'm on spring break. So, I'm free to do whatever. <laughs> okay, my favorite smells. My favorite smells, Um, I love vanilla. And pretty much any, like... High key anything from Bath and Body Works. Bath and Body Works, they make some of the ama the most amazing perfumes, lotions, everything. So I can really go for just about anything out. Anything Bath and Body Works tends to make. Um, okay, so number 10 is what's the furthest you've ever been from home? Okay, so the furthest I've ever been from home was Orlando, Florida. Because when I was in high school, we did a senior trip and we went to Orlando. But... Like, as far as closest, furthest, if that makes sense, um, the closest, furthest that I've ever been would have to be, like, College Park. Because when I was in high school, I used to do, I used to be in clubs like Skills USA, DECA, um, FCCLA, things like that. And so, we would always do competitions. And I always used to compete with Skills USA because that was my main pathway when I was in high school because I had wanted to um well I really I really never wanted to be a graphic designer but I just loved art so because like art that's always been my thing even though I can't draw <laughs> so so I will always compete with Skid USA and we will always be in College Park and the hotels were just extra dope and everything it was cool okay do I have any special talents um I love doing makeup so you probably will see some makeup tutorials and things like that on this channel. Um, I love to sing, so, but I definitely need vocal lessons. <laughs> but I'm not that bad. I just don't like the way I sound, and I feel like I could do so much better. But singing, is, singing music, that's definitely my thing. I really want to learn how to do, um, like, I really want to learn how to make beats and such. So, I mean, that's really it. But so far, like, singing... Yeah, singing, um, I love to write, and, yeah, I think that's, oh, and I dance, um, I've been dancing since I was younger, I wanna say, cause my mom, like, when I was really little, like, three or four, she used to, when she had put me in ballet, and I hated it, and I, cause I felt so uncomfortable, cause all the other kids were skinny, and I was the only chubby one. <laughs> so it made me feel like really 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 uncomfortable and I hated it So cuz I always felt I mean cuz I always felt like they would look at me different cuz it's like I'm a heavyset kid So but either way that's a whole nother video. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole topic for another video That I will be doing later on also Where were you born. Okay, that's the next question. Um, I think I said it um, earlier in the video, but if I did it, if you didn't catch it, I was born in Brooklyn, New York, October 1st, 1998. Um, 
okay what are my hobbies my hobbies are pretty much what I just said I love like I really love to write I write more than anything so so that's something I would definitely say like is a hobby because I can't draw <laughs> and um, when I was in middle school my hobby was going on poly war and Oh my god, this so oh my god, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother video. Okay. Do I have any pets? I wish. <laughs> I wish. Um, do I have any siblings? Yes, I do. I have I like I have um siblings on my father's side, but like as far as my mom's kids, I have one older brother and that's about it. <laughs> um, where do I want to be when I grow up? Okay. I want to book um, like right now, I'm in college. I'm in college. Um, I'm studying biology, and I want to be a neurosurgeon. <laughs> That's really why. But like, there's so much that I want to that I want to do outside of becoming a neurosurgeon. So that way, yeah. So that way, you know, I really don't know how to put it. Honestly speaking, because there's so much that I really want to do, and YouTube is one of them. That's why I'm really glad that I decided to start YouTube now, and so that way I can share my stories, my my life, I can start get like sharing love to those who share love to me, and share love to the whole world. Because we really do need more love in this world, honestly. <laughs> so that's it. Okay. Um. But, like, as a final answer, where do I want to be when I grow up? I really just want to be successful. I want to be able to give back. I want to be able to use my platform on YouTube. I want to be able to grow my platform on YouTube so I can give, so I can be there for people. Because sometimes, I want to be, like, I really want to be an inspiration to people. Because sometimes people, like, there's, like, there's times where people, they would be so depressed. And they would have nobody to... Like, to talk to, they would have nobody to lean on. They would literally have no inspiration for anything. And that's why, you know, so many people, they would commit suicide and things like that. So, I really want to use my platform to at least be there for somebody. That's why um, a segment that I really do want to start, that I already have an email on, on the... Um, like, on my About page on my YouTube channel, is um, Nini J advice at gmail.com so if any of my viewers or subscribers have any problems any issues need advice you can definitely hit me up and i will either make a video answering all yeah i would definitely make a video answering all of your emails giving you advice things like that okay who was my first best friend? My first best friend, his name was Galen. And I miss him so much. I have not seen him since I was seven. And I just wonder, like, you know, how he's doing, you know, where he's at. Like, has he started college yet? Like, I really hope that he's doing good for himself. Because right now, I'm trying, like, I'm trying to do the best I can for myself. I mean, we all are. So I just hope that he's okay and everything like that. Um, how tall am I? I am 5'4". <laughs> I am short. Oh, funniest moment through school. What is my funniest moment through school? Oh, okay. One of my funniest moments through high school was, okay, like during high school, I was in marching band. I did marching band my freshman year and I did marching band my senior year. Um, When I had left high school... My, like, the ending of the second semester, no. It was in the middle, kind of. But I think it was, no, it was the ending of the first semester, beginning of second semester-ish, kind of. And it was me and this one boy, like, we both left. Because, like, we had, like, we were starting to get kind of close and everything, but we had both left, and we had went to, um, this private So, we both had left, and when I had came back my junior year, my, one of my friends, let's call her Ashley, she had, like, she had told me how there was a rumor going around band talking about how me and, let's call him Bruce, me and Bruce were so in love and we didn't want anything to get in the way of our love. Cause, <laughs> so, because he was originally, 
No, because he was originally leaving to go to that school. So, and then afterward, because my mom and his grandma, they were talking and everything. And they was like, because my mom really wanted to pull me out. And that's and the reason why, that's a whole nother story. That I'm, that's a whole nother video that I will be doing later on. And so she had wanted to pull me, so she had wanted to pull me out of the school and she had wanted to send me that school. So it was a whole lot of, yeah, they were so in love and they they didn't want anything to <laughs> to get in the way of their love. So they decided to leave school together. And I came back and I was just like, <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, um, so that's that. So that was really one of the funniest moments in high school. Um, okay, how many countries have I visited? I have not visited anything unless the countries on the kim kardashian game count i have not left the u.s honestly speaking i've never left the u.s and i really want and i really want to leave the u.s because there's so much out there to explore there's so much culture that i haven't seen yet i really want to go to um i but i can't i can't think but i can't remember if it's china or Japan. I really think it's Japan. And they have these ramen noodle museums. And I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And also, um, there's... I'm not sure if he's a YouTuber or, or if he just does Facebook videos. But either way, his name is The Lone Ranger. Hopefully, I think... Yeah, I believe his name is The Lone Ranger. And he's in China. And he was do, he was vlogging about all these um little food spots around I, I believe it's Guangzhou, and you know, he was vlogging about all of these little food spots that you can go to in like in China. And I thought it was really really cool. And he was rating them and everything. I thought it was really cool. And also, I really want to go to Guyana because that's where my parents are from. And I thought it was, and I, like, I've never been, so I really want, I really, really, really want to go there because I feel like there's a part of myself that I don't know that I really do need to experience before I die, honestly. So that's definitely, like, top of my bucket list. Then I, then I really want to go to London and France and Canada. <laughs> Shout out to Canada. I love y'all so much. Um. Okay, my favorite... And worst subject in high school. My favorite subject in high school. What was my favorite subject in high school? I really want to say my favorite subject in high school. Like freshman year. I really loved biology. Honestly my teacher was really really cool. And. I really loved Spanish class. My senior year. I was in Spanish too. And my teacher, she would like when I mean she was the coolest teacher ever. She would be playing music. She like she really entertained her class while teaching, and I learned so much and everything. She was amazing. And my worst subject in high school, I always hated math. But the thing about it is, I hated math, but I never failed. Anyway, <laughs> so my favorite drink, my favorite drink is water, literally. All I drink is water and Powerade. Right now, I'm trying to stay... I'm really trying to stay away from sodas and stuff. Because soda-wise, I love Sprite. All I drink is Sprite. That's it. But I'm really trying to stay away from sodas and things like that. So, because it's not good for your skin. And also, it's not good for your health. Yeah, my favorite animal... I love dogs. That's like my top notch. But I'm not opposed to a cat. So, whichever comes first, the dog or the cat, <laughs> whichever can, wherever, wherever I get first, that's definitely going to be my pet. And I would love it so much. Um, exotic animals. I love ostriches. <laughs> Which is so weird, because like, you don't really hear a lot of people saying that. Um, perfume. We're back to <laughs> Bath and Body Works. Then, um, also, I was walking around Sephora at Perimeter Mall once, and I found the, what was it? The, um, Versace Eros. I believe, yeah, I believe it was Versace Eros. I love that perfume. Like, it just smelled rich. <laughs> Honestly speaking, it smelled rich. Then, um, okay, the next question is, what would you, or have you named your children? Okay, I don't have any kids, so... I would name my kids, if I have a daughter, I would name her Harmony Alexis, or, um, Harmony Alexis, honestly, 
And my, if I have a boy, I would name him Christian. I haven't thought of a middle name, but I would name him Christian. And that's it. Um, what sports do I play or have I played? Um, I never really played sports in high school. I tried out for track when I was in middle school, but I didn't make the team. Um, but if you count marching band as a sport, marching band, that's it. Like, that's my thing. I am a baritone player. So, shout out to all my band kids. Also, um, who are some of my favorite YouTubers? Okay, my favorite YouTubers, um, I love Bougie Vintage. She is actually the reason why I decided to start YouTubing and such. And also, like, a couple of my other friends thought, thought that I should do YouTube as well. But... The real thing, like, the real person that really got me into YouTube was really Bougie Vintage because I love how she is. She keeps it real. She, like, she's really an inspiration. So, like, I love her to the fullest. Like, she's, like, all the way up there, my favorite. And I love Hey Paris, He Flawless, um, Diara and Ken. Or is it Diaria and Ken? Comment below how to pronounce her name if you watch her because it's spelled Diara. But then sometimes I would hear Ken say Diaria, so I'm not so I'm not really full because I really hate mispronouncing somebody's name. That's really one of my biggest pet peeves. Um, who else do I like? I found somebody like just the other day named Collins Key, and he is hilarious. Honestly, he is really really hilarious, and I love the face he makes when he eats something sour. It's so funny. <laughs> But, yeah, I really do love him. He He's really funny. He is definitely in my top five, honestly. And um, I love Ruben DeVille and his brother. They're really funny. And they're, re like, they're really chill and laid back. Then, um, who else? Trey Melvin. Huge fan. Huge, huge, huge fan. And who else? Um, I'm not sure, like, I'm not really sure if she's done, if she's doing YouTube now, but Katie Dawn, I love her, and I love Summerella. Who else? Like, there's so, like, there's really so many. Latoya Forever, um, Timothy De La Ghetto, um, Delano Edwards. <laughs> like, I watched, Del I've been watching Delano Edwards since I was in seventh grade, and now I'm a college freshman. So, I rock with Delano the long way. Like, he's a whole fool, and, like, there's so, there's so many more YouTubers that I really do like, but their names are not coming to mind right now, but those are really just my top favorites, honestly. Um, how many boyfriends and girlfriends, boyfriends slash girlfriends have I had? Um, I never dated any females. I'm a heterosexual person, but I do support the LGBT community, honestly. Um they have that's a whole no that's a whole another video that I'm going to make regarding like regarding that because there's so much that I have been seeing during social media. Like, yeah, through social media and things like that that I just find it so crazy cuz you know like there are people too. So I'm just like Okay, and but as far as boyfriends goes, I have so far I've had one boyfriend, but like really that's really um that's a whole nother video because I've cause like I've had one like actual boyfriend boyfriend, but I've dated two people ish. But then again, like the second person, it didn't last that long. So, I really can't call it a relationship, honestly. I don't know what to call it. So, if you know what to term it as, comment it below. <laughs> um, my favorite memory from childhood. My favorite memory from childhood, um, I would have to say hanging with my brother and like my older brother. He, like, we really don't hang out as much anymore because um, he got married and he moved away. I don't, I don't really get to see him, him as much. So just hanging out with my brother. Like, we were really, 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 really close when I was growing up. So yeah, I miss him a lot. Um, what else? Um, what's another favorite childhood memory? Um, my favorite childhood memory, I would have to say when me and my mom 
would be walk like when my, when my mom would be walking home when she picked me up from school and I would be like really really tired because let me tell you something I used to go to Phil's Academy when I when we lived in Brooklyn and we lived off Lennox Road and Phil's Academy was off Tilden Avenue so if anybody <laughs> so if anybody is watching this video and they live and they live in Brooklyn you know how and they live in the Flatbush side of Brooklyn let me be specific 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 <laughs> the Flatbush side of Brooklyn not Bedford Stuyvesant not Crown Heights Flatbush Brooklyn you know how far Tilden Avenue is from Lennox Road that thing used to be far and I was like five years old that's a far walk okay Anyway, <laughs> so, and then she always used to, um, like, she would, like, just to keep me quiet, we would go get Chinese, or she would get me, like, an ice cream cone, <laughs> just to keep, just to keep me from complaining, so, <laughs> so, and she would, like, <laughs> and she would feed me the wings, because, <laughs> like, food was always my thing, so, she would feed me the wings until, until we got home, so I wouldn't complain, and, and also, um, I can't remember the name of it. And, I, like, I really hope it's still there. But there was a Chinese restaurant off Nostrand Avenue and Church Avenue. And, and they had a, um, they had a red sign. No, I really think it's a white sign with red letters. Or it was a red sign with white letters. I really can't remember. But they had the, like, honestly, they were, they was our, um, yeah, that was the go-to spot for Chinese food. They were lit, okay? They were really lit, and I love it. Like, there's not like there's no Chinese food better than New York Chinese food. Honestly, I really hope y'all know. Also, <laughs> also the next um next question is how would I describe my fashion sense? My fashion sense, um, well, for right now, I dress very casual. That's it. <laughs> like I'm a very I'm a very casual person. Like right now I have on some joggers and I have on my senior sixteen hoodie. Like I'm a very casual person. Um until like I have somewhere to go, then I try my best to like get dressy and stuff. But I feel like I cause like as far like for bigger girls, I feel like there's not a lot to choose from. Or you just really have to know where to shop. Cause as far, cause there's like, cause I like to shop online a lot, and there's so many stores that does they plain out does not have a good selection for bigger girls, and I feel like a lot of these fashion companies need to understand that you know what look just because we're big we don't have to dress ugly, you know, cause I would see so much cuter stuff for the skinny girls I'm just like okay they can dress cute but so can we. So, like, the only person that, like, the, not person, the only company that I feel that kind of, like, kind of has that in their head and how they choose their clothes is really Forever 21. And so, and also, um, Fashion Nova, I just checked them out. I really didn't even know that they had, um, a plus size addition to their store, but they do, and it's amazing. So, from what I've seen online and everything, so I really like it. So, but as for right now, I dress very casual. Um, what phone do I have? I'm team iPhone all day. <laughs> like, honestly. Because I remember the first time when I first got an iPhone. I got the, um, iPhone 6. Because I had an Android. At, like, before that. And it wasn't like a new Android. It was a really, really, really old Android. I'm talking middle school days Android. Blackberry size looking Android. And... My pictures were so ill. Like, if you go on my Instagram right now, you can actually still see some of my pictures from my freshman year. And so just to give you, like, an actual visual sense. And as soon as I got the Android and I took a selfie on it, I was like, okay. So, and the last question is, tell us one of your bad habits. One of my bad habits, um... I would have to say I tend to bite my nails a lot, so that's why I have um I had got my nails done because I really got tired of biting my nails. Like I really, I'm really trying to stop biting my nails. 
and things like that because I really I really find it weird because I don't bite them like all the time like I'll wait till they get to like a certain length and then I'll bite them which I really find because like buying nails is really unsanitary and things like that so that's <laughs> that's just disgusting Okay, well, that's it for the tag. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Hopefully, we can get this video to 50 likes. Um, Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for more videos, okay? Thank you, and yeah.